Hi, my name is Kayla Mize, and I am the BSW Program Manager at the Diana R. Garland School of Social Work at Baylor University. Today I want to tell you a little bit about myself, but uh, more importantly I want to tell you a little bit about the School of Social Work at Baylor. Uh, what you can expect when you come here, what kind of classes you'll get to take, and also just a little bit about social work in general. We're really excited for you and where you are in this journey, and we're so excited for you to come to Baylor and take classes with us and kind of dive in when it comes to social work. So a little bit about me first. Like I said, I'm the BSW Program Manager. What that means is that I just kind of handle a lot of the things that come with our undergraduate program in social work, and part of that is advising social work students. So every student that comes through our program I get to sit down with, I get to make academic plans with, I get to talk about what are you hoping to do in the future, what kind of job do you want to get, uh, and how can we make sure that the classes you're taking and any minors you get or anything like that kind of help you along that path. So it's really exciting that I get to walk alongside students during their academic journey here at Baylor and support them in figuring out what's next. Uh, so that's one part of what I get to do, um, and it's, it's such a joy to get to meet with students in that way. I came to Waco in 2009 as an undergraduate student uh, and I got my BSW here at Baylor or my Bachelor's of Social Work and then followed that with my Master's of Social Work. So I'm a two-time alum of this program and and uh, I can tell you from experience that uh, it, it's such an excellent place to to be and to learn and there's such great community here. Um, I, I wouldn't have stayed in Waco for as long as I have if that wasn't the case. And my hope is that when you come, you'll have a similar experience and, and really get to understand what is it like to be part of the Baylor community? What is it like to be a member of the Diana R. Garland School of Social Work? So I do want to go in a little bit and talk about what is social work? For some of you, you know exactly what it is. Maybe you have experience with social workers or you have a family member that's a social worker. And for others, you kind of had the thought of, I want to help people. And I don't know what that looks like, but I think social work might get me there. And I think you're right. Uh, uh, social work is a helping profession. Um, it's also a licensed profession, which means that we are a professional degree pr uh, program. And you have to be licensed to practice social work. Uh, this is much like being a, a lawyer or a doctor. Uh, you have a really specific set of skills that you learn in a social work program that make you qualified to practice social work in the field. And so we want to make sure that we protect that social work license. And anybody that's calling themselves a social work, they really are prepared to help people um, in any number of ways uh, with that specific set of skills. Now, what do social workers do? Well, they promote social change and development at many levels, whether it's the micro level with clients one-on-one, -on -one, uh, whether it's the meso level looking at um, groups um, or macro level looking at communities and looking at um, more broad policy changes and advocacy. Uh, but essentially, social workers are working with the most vulnerable populations walking alongside clients and helping them to find a voice or, or speak on their behalf when they don't have one, uh, just so that we can encourage social change uh, in a way that benefits everybody at every level. What can social workers do? For those of you who might not be super familiar with social work, there's a lot of different things that a social worker can do. It's not just CPS, um, but it's much broader than that. Uh, we have students who uh, graduate and work in hospitals, in congregations or with churches, uh, in schools, working with students, um, in prisons, adoption agencies, internationally in other countries. Some students work with the military or veterans. Or, or immigration services. And that's just kind of the tip of the iceberg. There's so many different things that you can do with a degree in social work. And that's what makes it such a, a great program and a great profession is, is that it's broad and there are a lot of opportunities. Uh, and because the opportunities are so um, vast, it does mean that you are uh, in a great position to be employed after you graduate. Uh, so what sets the Garland School apart specifically? Well, 
Um, there's a few different things that I want to talk about. Of course, I think that the people that work here is one of the things that sets us apart, uh, um, as well as the students that, that you'll get to interact with, whether it's your, your own classmates or whether it's the students in classes um, above or below you. We have such a great sense of community. Uh, and many people consider their classmates and their staff and faculty to be family. Um, there's lots of opportunities for mentorship with your faculty members uh, and, and all sorts of relationships with with, uh, your classmates. Uh, but a couple of other things that are specific to our program are the ethical integration of faith and practice as well as uh, our five-year program. So what do I mean by the ethical integration of faith and practice? Well, we believe that it's important that students are prepared to work with people from all different faith backgrounds, whether that's Christianity or some other faith tradition or spirituality. Uh, we want you to be able to meet clients where they are on their faith journey because we recognize that faith and spirituality can be incredibly important to, to people on the individual level or to communities. It's an asset that we want to make sure we're making good use of and if that's something that's important to somebody's life, uh, we want to make sure we can support them in connecting to those types of things. So that's what we, we talk about when we mean when we say the ethical integration of faith and practice. We just mean meeting clients where they are, helping them to guide this process and tell us what does faith mean to them and how can we support them in that. Another thing that's important about the Garland School that really sets us apart is our five-year program. You may have heard of this before or maybe you haven't, but if you get your Bachelor's of Social Work at Baylor and our typical four-year program, then you have an option and an opportunity to be automatically admitted to our MSW program, which is just one additional year. You get to bypass the application process and you would get to move right into that graduate program. Uh, this is a great benefit because First of all, it makes it um, a little bit easier to, to navigate that whole applying to graduate school thing, uh, but also it means that the relationships you've already developed with your fellow students, with your faculty, those get to remain as you enter the graduate program. And it's also an excellent uh, uh, benefit that it's just one additional year. So in five years, you'll have two degrees and you'll be prepared to go out and be licensed at any level um, because you do have that master's uh, of social work. So that's another thing that is really awesome about our program that I love and that a lot of our students make use of that I made use of personally. Uh, and, and I definitely am so glad that I did. Now I do want to talk a little bit about what your time at Baylor will look like in the School of Social Work. You'll take so many different courses and I want to kind of talk through a few of those and what you can expect from them. So you will take um, human behavior classes where you'll get to learn about uh, how people develop uh, um, and, and that's physically, that's uh, um, emotionally, their identities um, in, in many different ways uh, and how they're impacted by the environment that they grow up in, that they're surrounded by um, and, and so learning kind of who are these people that we're going to be meeting with, who are these clients and, and, and what makes them unique and how did they get where they are now. Uh, you'll also get to learn uh, the actual skills that you need to work with clients. You'll take a, a micro-level practice class where you'll learn those communication skills to, to walk alongside clients, to know what is the, the right thing to say in this moment and how can I support them. But you'll also get to learn how to facilitate groups and how to work with whole communities and doing more macro-scale work. So that's a great thing is that you get to actually learn the skills that you need to go out and help people. You'll also take a number of other classes like our social policy class where you'll learn about different policies that affect clients uh, as well as how you can advocate on behalf of clients. Uh, you'll take a human diversity class where you'll get to learn about many diverse populations and intersectional identities. That course is beloved by every student that takes it uh, and so I know that that's something that you'll really enjoy taking. And then one of the most important parts of our program is our field uh, classes and in our field program. We call it our signature pedagogy because it's really the culmination of everything that you learn in the program. So what does that mean? What is the field program? Well, in your senior year, you will do a full year of internship at an agency here in Waco. 
This means that you're not just learning in the classroom what it means to work with clients, but you're actually going out into the field and you're getting to flex those muscles a little bit and use those skills so that when you graduate and you become licensed, you are ready to take it on, that you're ready to become a social worker and meet with any type of client um, at any level. So we have lots of different internship opportunities in many of the places that I already mentioned as options for social work practice. And you'll get to go out into the field and learn those skills and then come back to the classroom and talk with your fellow classmates about this is what I'm experiencing in internship, what's yours been like, what are some challenges you've had, and you get to navigate that process together. This is such a unique experience because it means by the time you enter the profession, even and particularly if you go on to do our MSW program where you'll do another internship, you already have practice under your belt and you're ready to go get licensed and work in any number of, of areas. So that's something that we really love about our program and that a lot of our students get excited about. So that's something I wanted to highlight as, as something you would get to experience as you come here to the Garland School. So that's just a little bit of our program and just explains in a nutshell what you might experience when you come here. But of course, in a, in a short video like this, I can only scratch the surface because there's so much about our program and our school and about Baylor that, that I love and I know that you will come to love as well. And we're just excited for you as you start this journey. We look forward to meeting you when you come and seeing you in classes. And we just wish you the best of luck on this journey. So we hope to see you soon and um, sick and bears.